Hello everyone, this is Maria Kronk and I'm coming to you today to make some dairy-free sour cream. I wanted to test a couple different recipes and then I wanted to compare it to the real thing. But what I did is I did a search on the internet. The top two that came up on the search was Paleo Cupboard. Um, they have just a few ingredients in there. It's just three. Very simple. It's using, of course, uh, full fat coconut cream, the cream that settles on the top of the coconut milk. And then the other one is from Nisa's Kitchen. She has a vegan sour cream recipe. So I thought I would try that. I've made other cream sauces with raw cashews that were soaked, and they've always turned out great. I have a um, creamy alfredo sauce that's dairy free that is just awesome and creamy and delicious so i thought i would try the cashew one so let's get started and try these out and then we will taste or i will not we <laughs> we i will taste them and see compare it to the real thing then i'm going to leave you links in the description to these recipes as well says the full fat a uh, one can of full fat coconut milk normally when I open a can of full fat coconut milk there's a some cream at the top and there's quite a bit of liquid at the bottom in this pan there wasn't so much liquid at the bottom Okay, I normally don't eat just sour cream by itself. I usually have it on top of something, but I want to really see how these compare. So I'm going to start with the coconut cream one. So this is great if you have a nut allergy and a dairy allergy, then you don't have to worry about the nuts. And hopefully you like coconut because I'm sure it's very coconutty. So it has a nice consistency. Okay, let's try it. So, so they had the lemon juice and salt in there. I think it needs a little bit more salt. I think it would be really good if you added in the apple cider vinegar. I love this, this brand. I think it would make it a little bit more sour. It has a wonderful coconut taste. So if you don't like coconut, you will not like this. But it, it it's, it's definitely does not compare to regular sour cream. So let's put that one aside. Okay, so... Um, this is the one that was made with the raw cashews. Like I said, I've made other um, cream sauces with the raw cashews and it's turned out great. Got my um, regular sour cream. So I'm thinking this is going to be really good. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. I almost think it needs a little bit more sour. A little bit more of this I would add a little bit more from my taste preference definitely do not add in the garlic if you're putting this in pancakes or something sweet scones or something like that you do not want to have the garlic in there but it tastes absolutely wonderful with the garlic for savory dishes like if you're making tacos or something like that and you want to add the sour cream on top this is really really good I definitely like this way better than the sour um, than the coconut cream one so let's compare it to the real thing i know if you don't, don't do dairy this doesn't make any i just want to see how close it comes to to the real sour cream so let's try I'm just gonna do a little bit you 
Now, this is really good. I think, in my opinion, I think that the cashews are just as good. It just needs to be more sour. This is definitely, you can really taste the sour as soon as you bite into it. But this has the creaminess. It, I think that this is this would be perfect with a little bit more sour in it. So you need to add in. Um, they did add the lemon juice and they did add the apple cider vinegar. But I would add a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more salt. I think this is really, really a good alternative. So you guys, try this recipe. Try these recipes out. The link is in the um, the link for these recipes are going to be in the description let me know which one you liked better and let me know if you think it's a good sour cream alternative talk to you soon bye bye